Hello, um, I would like to bring to your attention a new tool that we've just um, published on our website. Uh, it's also a web-based version that you can use. It's a cryptocurrency market screener. Um, we did one previously, which was a Forex market screener. These are powered by TradingView, but um, we're bringing you awareness and ease of use so that you're, you know that these tools exist and we're gonna get um, put them in such a way that you can launch them from CTrader as well or use them in any other trading platform. So these tools are on our website. You just go under CTrader, uh, financial widgets. I'll just quickly go through it for you. We're slowly putting more on here. There's the Mark Forex market screener. And if you come down to the cryptocurrency one, you'll easily come to this page here. It's easy to find. Okay. So there's a live widget embedded on the page there. Um, and it goes through and tells you about how you can do fundamental in-depth filtering and other things. You can actually launch the widget from here in a light theme. Okay. So um, this is the light theme. You can also do a dark theme. Pretty straightforward. And we're going to do the video that's going to go in here. And we've also done a C Trader C bot that you can la launch from C Trader. Um, there's a few benefits of this. Uh, one of the ones is you can have it on the screen at all times. It doesn't get hidden behind like normal web page pop ups do. So, what I'm going to do is just quickly go through the tools um, settings. Uh, what I'm going to do is launch the light theme one. Okay, I'll make it full, full view. Now, the first view you'll see is the top gainers for the cryptocurrency. So these are all the top gainers that are out here at the moment, and it shows you the percentage of change, high, low volume, and rating, whether you should buy or sell on them. It tells you the exchange that's being used. Uh, top left here, you've got overview. You can do performance, and you can see the performance of each of the uh, instruments. You can go oscillators. Now, there are many, many oscillators. So these technical indicators, I think there's something like 29 in total. Um, each one of these will tell you whether to buy or sell or they'll tell you whether it's overbought or oversold. Um, if you want to filter by the indicators, click on the link there. These are the ones that are visible. You can then do all the pivot points and you can scroll to the bottom and you've got um, a lot more information. Bollinger band up, Bollinger band lower. So just scroll down and have a look. You can add or remove columns. Um, you can also move the columns around. You can even click on the filter button there and just filter on a certain indicator below a certain value or above. Okay, so you've got all of this here. Um, it definitely has, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, very powerful in-depth filtering. So you can use this tool to any means that you want to use it for. You can filter right down to a particular type of um, setting that you want for a cryptocurrencies. So what you can also do, um, the date time frame doesn't make any difference. If you go to top gainers, you've got top losers, all time high, all time low, most volatile, overbought, oversold. So you've got plenty of options there. You can click on the filter here. Now this is where it becomes into very powerful. If you have a look on the screen now, you've got some very powerful filtering that you can do on all of the data. So again, these, I think 29 indicators have been um, picked, handpicked, because they are the best indicators to use to determine if this instrument uh, should be bought or sold. So you've got description there. If you have a look, you've got average volume, high, low. This is all um, tailored towards cryptocurrencies on this one. The Forex one is tailored towards Forex. Fundamental, okay, available coins, traded volume, and then technical. And again, you can filter on the technical values here. So there, there you go. That's it. You've got in-depth filtering. Um, you've got, I'm just going to reset the filters, just reset all. You've got in-depth filtering. You've got um, different types of oscillator, different types of options you can choose to view the data. Um, this is a web-based version. And what I'm going to quickly do is show you the Windows-based version. Sorry, yeah, it's a Windows-based version that we've done for CTrader. So it's easy to find on here, to find this one. This video that we're recording is going to go at the bottom there. So if I open up CTrader, there it is. So in here, to find the CBOT, you just come to our website. I haven't actually put the product page up yet, but there'll be a product page that you can easily find it. It's free of charge. All of this is free. You can download it and use it with C Trader. Um, once you've installed the CBOT, uh, you just go to here and you type in, if I type in crypto, and uh, it's got the crypto screener, and you just click start, click continue. Okay, and it will come up. So if you have a look, if I click off the screen, it doesn't disappear. Um, it's resizable, so you can put it to any size you want on the screen. There's a minimum size you can use on it, actually. Um, so again, you can have it top uh, full view, or you can have it a certain view. If you're doing multiple charts, you can have it somewhere on the chart. I don't have a high-res monitor, so I think it's like a Dell 1920 or something. That's why it's looking very large. Um, but the idea is you can drag this on your multiple monitors somewhere on the screen, and you can see exactly what's going on. So it has the same type of filtering that the web-based version does. So you can easily just go in there and um, have a look at different ones.
Okay, there it's just come a bit slower. So it's got the same filtering as the web-based version. It's exactly the same. It's identical. It's just that you can launch it from C Trader. You can keep all of your controls in one location. Um, and also a, a benefit is that if you click off the screen, it doesn't disappear. It's always there. Okay, so these tools uh, are provided mostly to for awareness so that traders are aware that these tools exist. Secondly, ease of access. So you can easily access these tools from your C Trader environment. Okay, that's it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom. Thank you very much.